Hello there, Nick Bale here, as always, helping you live your best financial life. In this video, I want to share with you some of the highlights of Biden's tax plan. Now, many of these items are tentative, uh, and more will be clear after the Georgia Senate runoffs, but it's important to start thinking about what could happen so that you can have a plan. Let's first take a look at income tax brackets. Now, tax brackets look, look like they'll largely stay the same. Um, the one change is that some in the 35% and all of those in the 37% tax bracket could see an increase um, up to 39.6. So for most, it would remain business as usual. Another highlight to be aware of is a cap on itemized deductions um, of no more than 28%. Now, most taxpayers are using the standard deduction these days, so it doesn't impact that many people. Um, but if you are in a high tax bracket and you're used to itemizing your deductions, you'll have less benefit when doing so. Another highlight that can impact anyone that invests in a workplace retirement plan, such as a 401k, 403b, or 457 plan, uh, the Biden tax proposal is to eliminate the flat tax deduction on pre-tax contributions. So in lieu of the deduction, a flat tax credit, which they haven't quite um, announced a percentage yet um, or what that amount will be, uh, would take its place. So the idea here is to be more equitable with tax advantage savings. And let me give you a, a quick example. Um, if you're in the 35% tax bracket and you make a $10,000 pre-tax contribution to your 401k, your tax benefit for that year would be $3,500. If you're in the 22% tax bracket and you make that same $10,000 pre-tax contribution, your benefit uh, would equal $2,200. So the proposed tax credit aims to make the, the tax benefit close to equal uh, for someone contributing uh, regardless of their tax bracket. So you know, this could really benefit those that invest a high percentage of their income, especially if they're in a, a lower tax bracket than, than some others may be. Another highlight is to change the uh, Social Security payroll tax. So currently, uh, there's a 12.4% Social Security payroll tax. You pay half and your employer pays half. And that um, is on any income up to 137700 So what Biden's tax plan would, re would, would do is reintroduce that 12.4% on income over 400. So up to 137700 nothing and then it can it starts up again for anyone ma making more than four hundred thousand dollars so i think the thought here is that it's kind of an initial step in trying to shore up social security uh, for future retirees so there you have it a few of the key points of biden's tax plan i will create another video as a part two to come to cover some of the other items that i didn't touch on today so stay tuned <music> 